Okay, I'm videoing, uh, recording this right now. I'm video, I'm videoing this. I can't get my YouTube channel will not come in. So I'm recording it. We are video recording right now. Bless noon, bless noon, bless noon. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry. Well, we come on every day, Lord willing. We come on every day. We read the Word of God seven minutes every day, so you don't have to read the Word of God. Today we are having challenges. We are having technical difficulties. We are having challenges today with my gadgets because I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be way out, way out in Texas where um, the connectivity is, they, it's, it's a new subdivision. My daughter um, had a home built in this portion of Texas. It is it's beautiful. It's it's something you dream of. It's a it's a home that uh, that you see in, in 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 on the catalogs and the home you see in the in the videos and in the new homes and but never ever in my wildest in my wildest imagination did I think that I would be in one of them. But I'm just a a product of poverty. I'm a product of poverty and the ghetto. But God is a God of restoration. And restoring, and he said he'll bless those that bless him, that serve him. Praise God. And we always say that our generation, our children's children, our children should be better than us. Their living should be better than we live. We say that, right? Well, now I have the testimony. I have the testimony as I'm sitting in what God has blessed my daughter with. It is beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. She did all the painting. She put the decals on the walls. I'm blessed to be in her prayer room. Her prayer room, this prayer room, anyone would love to have it, is their living room with a master bedroom. And this is just the prayer room. Glory to your name, oh God. And then personal theater she got to show me that room so many rooms she's showing me showing me showing me and um i said where was my son she said oh, he's in the theater room I'm like, what theater room beautiful six leather reclining uh theater chairs with cup holders and the electronic you can go back and you can go up and you can just be just 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 state of the art just I'm just blessed I'm blessed so when you think of the goodness of Jesus hallelujah and oh he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving me I said, when I think, when I just think of the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah, and all oh, he's done for me, then my soul cries out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus, just thanking you, just thanking you, just thanking you, just thanking you, just a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. Thanking you, O oh God, for waking me up another morning to see the dawning of a beautiful new day. Thank you, O oh God, for opening up my eyes into this beautiful place as the children of Israel were looking, they looked over into the promised land, not knowing what it would entail. Lord, when I open up my eyes and I just look around me at what you have blessed my daughter to obtain, hard work, hard work, nobody gave her nothing. But her and her husband, they sacrificed and they worked and they worked. And I'm sitting in the, uh, the, the proceeds from the work that they did and I thank you, oh God. I thank you for the beautiful spirit that is within this home because it's patched through and through with 
messages and praises on, on, on all the walls and everywhere. And she said that when they were building it, she went inside because she had the home built and she was able to watch it be built. And as the walls were being put up, she went through and wrote scriptures all over the walls, all over the oh, Glory to your name, oh God. I thank you that that's a seed for me. That's one of my seed, oh God. And you said you would bless our generations to generations to generations if we would but obey you. And so I thank you. Lord, you said whenever I came on to pray, always remember to include Africa. So we joyfully and cheerfully include Africa, the continent of Africa. We thank you, O oh God, for Africa. We thank you for being from African origin, one of the stolen ones. I'm in America, but we originate from Africa, the continent of mankind's birth. Mankind began in the continent of Africa. And so we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, that you're rooting up and you're tearing down all the idol worship all around the world. You're tearing down, but especially in Africa and in America where I am. So root up, O oh God, tear down all of the idol worshiping, tear it down, burn it up, and then wash it out. According to your scripture, Lord, we could decree a thing and it would establish. So we do decree and we do declare that these, these prayers are not falling on hollow ground, but falling on holy ground. The words that I pray, the prayers that I pray, oh God, they're touching heaven and they're accomplishing what you sent it out to do through my mouth, the word of God. Laying on of hands according to what you said to do as I laid hands on my son and his hip. And we thank you, oh God, for healing yeah, we do. We thank you for healing him. We thank you, oh God, for the manifestation of the laying on of hands. Now, Lord, as we get ready to get into your word on today, we ask that you uh, magnify the word, that you amplify the word, that you make this word large and big in the hearer's ears. Lord, connect this connectivity. The connectivity, the principality is messing with it, and we don't have enough. But, but, but Holy Spirit, you put the, put the connectivity in these gadgets. So it can be seen where you desire for it to be seen, where it can be heard, where you desire for it to be heard. Lord, I'm here on the big O. I don't know if it's working or not. It doesn't look like it's working. The people are disappearing. They say they cannot come in. But as I pray, oh God, would you break through? Would you bind the principalities? You gave me the power and authority. So I bind the principalities and the spiritual wickedness in the high places that would try to stop the connectivity of these broadcasts from going forward. I decree and I declare they will go forward now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over spiritual interference and I speak clarity that everything will be clear. These airways, the, the video on YouTube and the, the clarity on the uh, Big O channel and the recording will go through and the word of God will go forth. Now, Lord, how can we hear except someone be sent? How can we hear if nobody is sent? And therein you called me forth to go forth, reading the word of God seven minutes every day to these your sons and these your daughters all over the world. Seven minutes every day. And so, Lord, I thank you for calling me. I thank you for anointing me. I thank you for appointing me to be steward over reading of your word every day, seven minutes every day, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, oh God. I try to make sure that I find a way to read the seven minutes every day. So I do give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. So Holy Spirit, rise up big inside of me right now. Equip me to read this word of God with excitement, with enthusiasm, with accuracy, with articulation. To all of these, your precious sons and these, your precious daughters. We do give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. All the praise be thine. Thy precious son, Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. So for the sake of a timer, I'm going to set up another recording. Another recording because I'm about to knock my stuff down because I didn't set up a timer. I'll just do it sideways. 
This is photo, video. So I'm reading from my tablet. I'm reading from my tablet because I did not bring my Bible, but God said you got the tablet. Praise God. So here we go. Here we go. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smart Family International Interactive in Ministry, where I do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is from Monday, March the 25th, 2024, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Luke, the sixth chapter. I am not at home, so don't worry about that. Listen to what is being read. And so it came to pass on the second Sabbath, after the first, that he went through the cornfields, and his disciples plucked the ears of corn and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do ye that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? And Jesus answering them said, Have ye not read so much as this? What David did when he himself was a hungry, and they which were with him, how he went into the house of God and did take and eat the shoe bread and gave also to them that were with him, which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priest alone. And he said unto them, the son of man is Lord also of the Sabbath. And so it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him whether he would heal on the Sabbath day that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts. And he said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. And then Jesus, then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it. And looking around about him and looking around about upon them all, he said unto the man, stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. And they were filled with madness and commune one with another what they might do to Jesus. And so it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles. Simon, whom he also called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Atheus, and Simon called Zealots, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. And he came down with them and stood in the plain in the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, and he said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you and cast, cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. So rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner did the fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye shall receive consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall be hungry. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. 
Bless them that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if we love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful as your father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned forever. For ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? For with the same measure that ye meet without with it, Meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they both, shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceiveth not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either now cast Either, neither, either how canst thou say to thy brother, Behold, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, and thy thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. For a good tree bringeth forth corrupt fruit, neither doeth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree that is known by his own fault. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. That was seven minutes. I'm going to keep reading. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. And why call ye me Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader, of Luke, the sixth chapter, verses 1 through 49. If these readings bless you, then it's okay to be a blessing back to the woman of God. You can go to dollar sign Mama Pam 23, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, or you can go to paypal.me, forward slash Pamela Dobson, paypal.me, forward slash Pamela Dobson, or you can go to Zelle, and it's my name, Pamela Dobson, D-O-B-S-O-N, Pamela Dobson, 0723, at gmail.com. Until the next read, God bless you. Okay, family, we did it, we did it, we really, really did it. <laughs>